You may be wondering why it is that I'm heading down to the river when clearly there's a storm moving in. And for that, I've got quite a good reason. Um, you might also be wondering why it is I've omitted to take a coat or any form of waterproof clothing. And that's maybe slightly more difficult to answer. Uh, the best guess I have is that it's either the last vestiges of some form of youthful enthusiasm or far more likely just an absence of common sense but the reason I'm down there is because whilst returning from a previous trip I saw some activity that suggested to me that there was a species of fish in the river that I certainly haven't seen in this stretch for over a quarter of a century and I was very very keen to make their acquaintance but once the rain starts in earnest this little stretch becomes almost unfishable because even as it's on a clay bed it colours up and holds that colour and the fact that it's in a floodplain means that the levels can rise very very rapidly and all these little pools and stretches and straits that are separated by shallows become one stretch allowing the fish to move very easily and very quickly so it was a bit of a race against time and I was feeling pretty confident but uh, when the take came it still took me by surprise because I wound down and the fish was on and it's actually quite difficult playing fish in these narrow bits it can be difficult to get your bait out and it can be difficult to keep the fish out of the snags so whilst they might not be the biggest fish in the world they're still challenging and as you can see by now the fish that I'd seen was in fact a pike and I've never actually caught a pike out of this stretch I'd seen a few but as I say that was over 25 years ago and since then the stretch has largely been overrun by chub but it seems like at least one pike is back and the reason I was fishing in the rain is I didn't really fancy spending another two and a half decades looking for another one <laughs> so I wanted to tick this one off the list as it were and after a, a brief but intense fight I had him in the net and Pike are the perfect predator streamlined a mouthful of teeth and fins at the back for rapid acceleration and whilst he's not the biggest pike I've ever caught he is a fish that <clears throat> is as long as the river is wide in many places and I'd landed him just in time because the thunder was coming and there was lightning on the horizon and that was my cue to get out of there but it's still very important to give fish time to rest and regain their strength and admire him for one last time as he lay in the net before I watched him swim back to his murderous lair